Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do others like this meal plan that you're about to see here. tuning in. Last week's meal plan went like a dream. In fact, earlier today I made the quiche that was on the menu for Sunday and it was uh, so good. So we're going to have that for dinner. I did sample it. I taste tested. It was awesome. So we had that and I made a hash brown casserole, which was also really good. And that'll be good for some leftovers for like lunches this week. And I don't know. I just love quiche. I don't know why I don't make it more. But anyway, so the grocery list that went along with the meal plan was so helpful. It helped me so much at the grocery store. I knew exactly what I had, what I needed to buy, and it just worked perfectly. So this is last week's dinner plan. I didn't plug in any lunches. Usually, like, I'm not a breakfast person. Um, mostly, though, lately, I've been trying to drink a muscle milk. It's um, it's a protein, like a pre-mixed protein shake. You just put it in the refrigerator and there's no dairy in it. They call it milk, but there's no actual dairy and it has tons of protein in it, but I think there's like one gram of sugar. So I've been trying to do that just to boost the like nutrition in my diet and the vitamins. I've been really heavy with vitamins lately and I think it's making a big difference for me. So Last week we had frozen pizza and a Caesar salad kit. Awesome. Couldn't go wrong. A lot of these things we already had, which is why I worked them into the plan. I wanted to kind of use what we had as much as possible and just kind of subsidize with the other ingredients that we needed to pick up at the grocery store. But um, it worked out really, really well. We did eat out twice and um, we had that on the calendar within the plan and we did go ahead and do that. And then the other meals were really good. So everything worked out very well. So tomorrow starts the new week, which is January 10th. And oh, I didn't even mention, for those of you who are new or maybe didn't see my first meal plan video, this is an actual Happy Planner meal planner. And it's the first one that I've seen this year. I know, I think they have another design too available um, other than this cover, but I know they've had recipe planners and which is really nice or recipe holders, I guess maybe you would call it. But I don't remember seeing a meal planner before this year, but I could be wrong because last year I was really checked out as far as planning and planners go. So I could be wrong about that. But let's jump in into what we're doing for the coming week. Like I said, starts Monday, January 10th. And it's this planner is so nice. It has as you can see, um, spots every single day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then down here, it has ingredients to prep. And I just use this basically as not only an ingredient list, but a grocery list. So I'll go ahead and highlight what I already have. And if it's not highlighted, that means I need to pick it up at the grocery store. So I could take this planner with me to the store, which is no big deal, but I can also just take a photo of it with my phone and know what I need to pick up. So that's how that worked out. So today's or this week's dinners, um, starting with Monday, we're going to go do something a little bit different. We haven't had turkey sausage in a really long time, um, but we buy a certain brand and it's so good and it's super, super low in fat. I think there's like one gram of fat, but the taste is amazing. So if you like sausage, um, I would encourage you to try out some different turkey options, um, depending on where you live. I'm sure that brands are, are can be a little bit different, but I'm not a big sausage eater, period. In fact, I really don't eat sausage, but the turkey, yeah, I'll definitely do that. So we're going to have turkey sausage with, we're just going to put it on a sheet pan. Um, and I don't know, maybe... Maybe we'll do it in the air fryer. I'm not sure because that's definitely a great option. So we're going to um, just cut it up. We're going to let's for all intents and purposes say we do it the way we typically do it. We just um, cut it up into like bite sized pieces and put it on a sheet pan with cut up peppers and onions, some spices and things like that. And it's so good. But um, we're also going to add some cut potatoes because we have some potatoes to use up. So that is going to be a really, really good dinner. 
And I don't know, for me, that seems like a wintry dinner. Now, if we put turkey sausage on the grill, that would to me be like a summer dinner, but I don't know, the way we're doing it in the oven or even the air fryer, it feels like a winter dinner for me. So Tuesday, we are going to go out to dinner and that seems to be our our Tuesday thing lately. My husband's, um, one of his days off during the week is Tuesday. And well, not one of his days off. He's off on Tuesdays. Um, but anyway, we go to this little diner by our house and they have different specials every day for dinner. And it's just so inexpensive. And I explained this in my last video. For the things that you can get there, it would not pay for us for just he and I to go out and shop for the ingredients and make them. Like we probably couldn't do it as cheaply as we could to go there and get whatever their special is. And they have awesome iced tea. So if you know me, you know iced tea is like first on my priority list when we go out to eat somewhere. So um, we're gonna go to the diner. And then Wednesday, Wednesday's gonna be so good. We're gonna have chicken tikka masala. And it sounds complicated maybe, maybe to some of you it doesn't, um, but we don't make our own masala sauce. We actually buy it in a jar at Aldi's and it is amazing. And I don't say that lightly, but what we do is we doctor it up just a little bit extra. So we take the jarred sauce from Aldi's and I'm telling you, you just cannot go wrong with it. It tastes like a restaurant. We add a little bit of like Indian seasoning. I think there's like, a, I think it's called Bombay seasoning. Maybe we get that at all these two. I, I want to say we do. And then we add literally a block of cream cheese to the sauce. Now, this is not for the faint of heart or anybody who's watching their diet. Um, but you don't eat a bowl of the sauce. You know what I mean? The sauce is like an accompaniment. So what we do is we doctor it up that way and it, turns restaurant style like right in front of your eyes it's delicious and then you cut up your chicken you first of all you would saute your chicken first and then you add the sauce and then you just let it simmer until everything is like incorporated and married you know it's delicious and then we also get um our basmati rice or basmati i'm not sure how you say it but i say basmati we also get that in a bag at Aldi's and it's very inexpensive. So for true rice lovers, you can spend a pretty penny on good quality rice. But I'm telling you, the bagged basmati rice at Aldi's and they also have jasmine rice is amazing. It's high quality, it's not sticky, it is just perfect. So we're going to have that on Wednesday. And on Thursday, we have some chicken to use up. So we are going to make some grilled chicken salads, which I love. And it just depends, you know, I mean, my husband and I, we put different things on them and sometimes we use different dressings. He likes a blue cheese dressing. Sometimes I use an Italian or a honey mustard. It just depends. And we're also going to make just some grilled pita bread and um, nothing on it, like not season it at all, just like some pita bread on the side. And then Friday, we are just going to keep it really simple and we're just gonna get pizza. And I don't know if we're gonna do, I don't think we're gonna do frozen, I think we're just going to order a pizza. Um, one of the pizza places by us, if you go and pick it up, it's $8.99 for a large one topping and honestly, that's, I mean, you can get pizza cheaper at the grocery store, but it's a pretty good deal. And then on Saturday, we're going to go out for dinner. So we don't have to worry about what we're gonna cook. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do this crescent roll chicken bake. And it's really good. It calls for cream of chicken soup, um, some sour cream, obviously your chicken and um, you can like make some rice on the side or like mashed potatoes if you wanna make it super, super home style um, or you could just eat it the way it is with salad. I mean, there's just a lot of options for it. The nice thing about this is that 
it makes good leftovers. So it's it's pretty good reheated, you know, for lunch the next day or something. We I talked about this before. We don't eat a ton of leftovers. Like I don't make a ton of stuff or my husband doesn't make a ton of stuff. So we have it for like a couple days. But anything we do have left over usually is for lunch the next day. Both of us pack our lunch every day. Like I never buy my lunch when I'm at work. I always take something and it could be something as simple as laughing cow cheese and crackers. Like I've done that. I did that twice last week. I had laughing cow cheese. Um, I would take two triangles. I would take like a little stack of crackers and I took some olives and it was just perfect. I didn't feel like bloated. I'm really trying to like do some things a little bit differently just for like the feel of my stomach lately. Um, you know, and obviously like, I mean, I could definitely use to cut calories too and just watch what I'm eating, just be a little bit more helpful. And so, um, some things we need to pick up at the grocery store that I know for sure, um, before I even go down to the pantry and, or pantry, I always say pantry, we don't have a pantry, but we are building one in our basement. My husband finished our basement last year. Um, and there's just a couple extra like tweaks to make, but one of them is he made a, um, three separate rooms out of it. And one of them is we wanna convert one of the rooms into a full pantry. And that also brings me to my next order of business. You guys were so helpful on my last video when I did my $2 bill challenge and I was asking you guys, do you think that we should um, consider staying in our house and do an aggressive pay down plan for the rest of our mortgage? Or would you put money down on a new house right now? Because right now we could sell our house for a good amount, but we would also be paying premium amounts for the next house. So I'm just not sure we're in the right place for it. I have a super aggressive pay down method that I have done the math for a million times over. And even if we didn't refinance, we can probably pay off our house by the end of 2025 with this aggressive pay down. Now that includes my husband's retirement and a lot of different factors and things like that. And it would be like never being able to miss a month of this plan. But if we also refinance, I think we'll even be in a better driver's seat. So I'm really leaning towards that and we've been discussing it all weekend. I've been talking to my family, to my brothers, to my mom, to my nieces. You know, I'm trying to get everybody's opinion. Like, what would you do if you were in our position? Because I like everybody's feedback. It's really important to me to, you know, look at the big picture, but also I love getting an outsider's perspective, somebody who doesn't necessarily have any stakes in the situation and just hear what they would do. And I absolutely love that. So I thank you so much um, for your feedback and I will be addressing that in a future video this week. So we're gonna pick up some turkey sausage and peppers. So we're gonna get that. And then we have onions. So what I'm going to do, since we have the onions, is I'm gonna highlight them. That is something we already have, so which means I don't need to worry about that when we go to the store. And then we also have potatoes. So that's also one more thing I don't have to worry about when we go to the store. I love using up what we have. It makes me feel accomplished. Do you guys feel the same way? Like when you're doing a meal plan or when you're figuring out what am I going to make for dinner tonight or what am I going to make for dinner this week? You know, do you feel like super accomplished like when you use up what's in the in the cupboards or in the fridge first? I shouldn't have this much of a sense of accomplishment from that. But I don't know. I'm like I congratulate myself like it's it's some major feat. It's so funny. Um, and then we're having chicken tikka masala. And then we need the masala sauce. Because I don't have that, but I do have chicken. So that is helpful. You know, kind of when you have like the major things, you know, on hand. And um, we do need a new bag of the basmati rice. If they don't have basmati rice... Jasmine rice is just as good. It doesn't have a strong flavor or anything like that. Um, it's just as good. But I don't know. For some reason, we just gravitate toward the basmati for this. And then we're having grilled chicken salad. So again, we have the chicken. And then I need lettuce or like some kind of lettuce kit. I'm going to put down lettuce kit. 
And then I'm going to pick up some croutons. And then pita bread. We have um, a kind that we always buy at Giant Eagle and it comes in like a five pack and it's really, really good. So I literally need all of these things. I mean, I don't need them. But dressing, I should pick up one more option of dressing because, you know, it's nice to have that on hand too. So I'm going to do that. And then we have some vegetables. And in fact, I might cut up like some red peppers or something to go in there. And I don't know, we'll figure it out, see what looks good. And then, um, Friday, we're going to get pizza. Saturday, we're going to go out. And then Sunday, we're, we have the chicken for this crescent roll bake. So we need crescent rolls. And this is really, really good. And it calls for cream of chicken soup, which we have. So I'm happy to be able to use canned goods, you know, that are in the cupboard. That's nice. And then it calls for sour cream. So I do need sour cream and I do need crescent rolls. I have to look at the recipe again because I've only made this one other time. It's really, really good, but I have to figure that out. So basically, oh, and you know what? Just for lunches, I'm gonna get more laughing cow cheese. So do you guys like, oh, I didn't spell that right. Do you guys like like laughing cow cheese? Um, or do you like baby bell better? Do you like neither? Um, so I wanna pick that up. Our Aldi's has both, which is really nice because sometimes you don't always find the brand name items at Aldi's. It's hit or miss, you know, it's like with anything. But they do usually have both laughing cow and baby bell, which is nice because it's cheaper. Um, and that's how we do it. Whenever we go grocery shopping, it's kind of a process. And sometimes we divide and conquer. Sometimes my husband goes to one store, I'll go to another. We'll be texting or calling each other. Um, and sometimes we just go together and we just, you know, we just do it because it needs to be done. Um, but we'll go to like Aldi's first and get anything we can get there. And then after that, sometimes we'll go to Walmart. It just depends, not all the time. Like if Walmart is a bear to go into, if it's super crowded, it's not always worth it for me. And then we'll go directly to Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle is usually our last stop now. Um, and it's been that way for a while. We usually go there whenever we can't find what we're looking for somewhere else because Giant Eagle is really high priced. And we do have a Meyer now, but Meyer. I've, I've only been there a couple times, so you guys will have to tell me if I'm wrong about this, but their prices are very comparable to Giant Eagle. I don't think they're that cheap. So I know people love Meyer, and it's a beautiful store. It's a brand new store where we're at, and they have so much stuff. It's really, it's really amazing, um, but as far as prices, I mean, some of the stuff, you know, they have specials and everything, but mm, some of this stuff, it's just like, I could go to Giant Eagle for this and it's closer to my house. So yeah, I don't know. So maybe it's just hit or miss, but this is our meal plan for the week. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love how it keeps me on track and you know, it has this little section for your prep or when I'm using it for like a little grocery list and it's just awesome. So I can't wait to fill this up over the course of the year. I think this is really going to save us money because we're not going to be buying things that we don't need. And I also think it's going to keep us eating at home more often, which is something we struggle with. And it's just, like I said, it's just the two of us. We both work full time. So sometimes, you know, getting something out or getting carry out or just stopping somewhere is easier and more appealing than, you know, coming home from work and like having to wrestle with you know, whatever it is you have to make. But as long as you have a plan in place, things are always so much 
easier. And like I said, last week was absolutely seamless. So it was really nice. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you meal prep, let me know how you do it. You know, do you do it in a similar fashion? Do you use a happy planner and meal planner now? Um, I think this is like one of the greatest things they've ever come out with. Honestly, I just absolutely love it. So um, yeah, I just appreciate you watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you have an awesome week. Take care.